He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. Gary has the T in the color of the day. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Thursday. A beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Everybody's still talking about Diddy, and we love Diddy. He's been he's done a lot of great things. He's dressed a lot of people with his Sean John wear. He's done a lot for the community. But y'all, they are getting at Mr. Sean Diddy Combs, y'all. Now, this is what people done went back and dug a 2016 y'all interview with Usher and his resurfaced y'all missed y'all the raise you know that went on with Sean Diddy and his beautiful mansions earlier this week now they're saying y'all that the You Got Bad Musician 45 he appeared on the Howard Stern show y'all back in 2016 y'all where he opened up about his time living with Diddy honey for a year when he was only the mere 13 years old and here's what Usher said Puffy's mm-hmm. place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell <laughs> you know? no. Yup. Isn't that oh, something? Wow. Back in 2016. Yeah. Hell no. Oh, my God. But, I mean, is that right for them to dig up that tape back there from 2016 and... Reference there with what's going on with Usher now, because I'm sure he and uh, I mean with Diddy now, because I'm sure he and Usher friends now. That's just gonna bring up mess with them now. Man, mm-hmm. that, yes. That's kinda, Maria, <laughs> Maria, what you think? I mean, I think that it's very common when people are, you know, looking at someone and, and a celebrity is being investigated. It's very common for them to pull up old conversations and interviews and. You know, for him to say that back then, um, when it happened, they're connecting the dots. They're just connecting the dots. Mm, I, think I, feel so I bad. mean, if it happened, it happened, you know? Yeah. But. Wrong is wrong, whether you're a celebrity or not. So yeah. I'm not saying that he is. He's being investigated, and only time will tell if he actually did those things. But yeah. it's not looking good. This but what? ain't helping either because yeah. Usher said he was 13. Yeah. yeah. 13? Yeah. That, that ain't even 16. Yeah. yeah. And he said he's seen some things, but he, he did. didn't say what he's seen, but that leaves it open to speculation. Yeah. People can say, oh, well, did he see the guys going to get like. It, it, but yeah. did you hear the mess. power in his voice when he said, hell, hell no? no? He was like, oh. <laughs> next question. And that's supposed to be yeah. his friend, though. How could you go up against your friend? And, and he didn't say go something. against him. He just said, hell no. He wouldn't let his kids go. Well, he didn't say, hell yeah, I would go. I would send him. So that's like going up against them. No, I feel so bad for Diddy. With Most entertainers people. I've heard said they wouldn't let their kids get involved in that business at a young age. So. Yeah, and well. it didn't necessarily have to we be. We were it. just talking, Gary, about how Luke said that he left the parties early. Luke, yeah. Mr. Freak himself, said yeah, he didn't. too yeah. nasty for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a I, lot. Yeah, that is. But what happened to leave the past behind, though? I guess they just bring it up. I, it's just something interesting. I yeah, don't everything know. is going to come up and come out. Yeah. Um, whatever. When the feds get involved, uh, yeah. it's going to be a lot. Yeah, so. When allegations come against you, They you feel, and, and, and investigations takes place. Yeah. Yeah, they searching. And what about those pastors and all those people that they said? Was that, I wonder what that's going to happen. I hope, you know, they... No, no. no, I think I think that was just a, a, a birthday party. With, that was with just no, what it was? Uh, okay. Our party. Uh, all right. Trust me on that one. Okay. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Now, here's the story. Now, this is when they say you Africans in America, y'all need to stay at your houses and go into all these different countries and islands and you don't know where you're at and stuff. Then you're putting stuff out in the media. It's been reported, y'all, that Colorado football coach, Mr. Deion Sanders, y'all, was enjoying a beautiful tropical vacation with his family, y'all, that turned into a search and rescue mission. They said... Say, honey, Mr. Um, Deion Sanders took to his Instagram to record the story, y'all, of exactly what happened. And he confronted potential danger, y'all, while sending it out. And he was crying for help, y'all. Deion said, I'm dead lost in the Dominican. He said, I just want to go, honey. Just go on a nice little jog, and now I'm lost. He said, help. He wrote on his Instagram, y'all, explaining, y'all, how he got lost and whatever. And they're saying, according to the story, y'all, the two-time Super Bowl champ went out, y'all, for a beautiful jog on a nearby golf course and wandered off toward the ocean to take pictures and view the beautiful scenery. They said, but the only problem was he couldn't find his way back. They say after a failed shortcut left him confused, they say prime time, his back started tightening up. They say so he decided to sit down on the first bitch y'all that he saw, and he recorded the video. He said, cat down there on a motorcycle, he said, he said, I don't know if he's waiting on me or I'm waiting him out. He said, but I'm keeping his head on a swivel, he said, because then he didn't know what was going on at the time. He said, but either way, it's going to be down if 
it go down. He said, I'm dead lost, y'all. And this is what people say, how we go to all these different countries, Dubai's, who, why, and cha cha and all that stuff. and don't know what's going on. Get lost and stuff. Can't get back. If you go to a regular place like, you know, Atlanta, Dallas, or whatever, you can find your way home. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what? That don't that don't make no damn sense. Well, yeah, he just went for a jog, man. He got lost. Well, you don't I go. Turn no, around a little bit. Yeah, you can't go. But if you go for a jog in a regular little city, you don't get lost. <laughs> so, y'all need to stay home. Everybody want to go to all these different countries and stuff, honey. And they can't get getting lost and stuff and crying for help and stuff. That's not a good look, honey. That's why I just keep it local. <laughs> you don't, you don't know here. I don't go nowhere, honey. Mm-mm, honey. When I go a little bit too far, I get nervous and turn around and start all over again. So we can get nervous a lot. Ain't no yeah. wrong with going out there to the beach, get your little jog on, you know, soak up the scenery. Well, bring a Gary, navigator. you were getting nervous walking up the street to the radio station. Threw you, me out on the curb. You damn when, right, when, when a car drove by with loud music, Ricky, he just stooped. He, I know he did. And he, he had his do. flip-flops on mm. and was gone. I'm like, really, Gary? I'm, I'm, baby. I don't I'm trust like, people. I sure did. I threw my ass to the street. You did. I'm like, girl, you get here. I, mean, I need you to be masculine in this moment. Help um, me. Well, honey, you ain't going to get that knee. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, the color of the day, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color of the day, y'all, is buff. On the high end, you say buff. And on the low end, you say beautiful beige, y'all. That's the color of the day. And y'all didn't notice. They're saying, y'all, that beige is taking the color of gray. It's taking over for the color of gray. Oh, really? So, so more people are doing, um, using um, beige than gray. So that's why it's the color of the day. So buff is your color. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all give it up for Gary with the T. <laughs>